All right, so we're on the streets. We found some uh, managers from Wisconsin. I just want to say, haven't seen anybody else with alcohol that's associated with the school. I respect that. That's a whole energy. 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 Hey, we're from Wisconsin. Hey, yeah. hey, our our <laughs> spring break, we were, we were grinding for the tourney, so this is our spring break now. Brad Davidson back for his sixth year. April Fool's. That's why I heard. <laughs> April Fool's. We're gonna pop over to this three-on-three -three tournament. Apparently they get real money. I need some minutes. Almost showing ankle, and I'm not showing ankle. That's not a good look for you. That's not. For his beard. Shitty beard. So we're back at the crib. Uh, finished day three of shows. Tomorrow's the big game day. Uh, tomorrow morning is the media basketball game at Tulane. So we were just discussing how late we're going to stay out. I want to be fresh for that. So does Cart. You feel like you've got some things to prove, don't you? Yeah, yeah I man. definitely do because, like, I I feel like there's been a lot of chatter within the media members that I know about my abilities and the way I play, and I think there's a, there's, uh, there's there's something that got lost in translation there. Like, I'm I'm going. We're about to go hit the JUCO Advocate Party. We're gonna meet up with uh, Brandon Goble, Todd Zollinger, Zollinger. Zalang, Zalang. I always botch the pronunciation. Go I'm Arnold, sorry, Todd. Jokes. I'm sorry, Todd. We're going to meet up with them, uh, and we're probably going to have a relatively early night at that point so we can be fresh because sleepers take shit serious. Tomorrow's game day. No idea what content will look like for game day, uh, but, man, I'm pumped to actually get to some games. Carter, there are serious rumors that Max Christie is either actually staying in the NBA draft or he's transferring to a different college. Your thoughts? Uh, Uncrustable Rocket Watson is really starting to piss me the fuck off. You coming to Michigan State University as a freshman, not, not even Michigan State, but that plays a role in it. You play 30 minutes a game, you shoot whatever you want, and you're unhappy, and you want to leave, where are you going to go? Huh, Cormac? Where are you going to head, buddy? All right, the world's not rainbows and cuddles and sleeping in twin beds that are shaped like the characters from Cars. Eventually, you got to man the fuck up and stop eating peanut butter and jellies and tighten up. Like, what, what, I, don't, I don't, where's he going to go, Greg? I, I, where's he going to go? Streets are saying Tom Izzo's lost it. Free Coach K till it's backwards, man. Hey, man, Free Coach K. Pivotal point of the weekend for the sleepers. Uh, we just... Dropping my phone. We just went to dinner with Juco Advocate. Great guys, by the way. And uh, Verbal Commits. Yes. Great guys. Great guys. And we are now at a point where we've made the decision to mutually part ways. Yeah, I'm about to go meet up with Jake Bullock and probably maybe a couple of the Field of 68 guys. I don't know if they'll still be there. It's a pretty hefty walk, honestly. How long? Like walk six you? miles? It's a hefty walk. That's a hefty walk, but. Uh, I'm going home. Yeah. Greg's gonna be. Greg is. He does a lot more work than me, honestly. Like, I'm just... I'm well, just I, we're hooping in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I get five hours of sleep, I'll be okay. You know, this is great. Go Duke. Sorry. Oh, no, you guys are good. No, you guys are great. No, you guys are, right. no, you guys yeah, are in the video. Live. Hey, Blue Let's Devils, go, baby. Blue Devils. Blue Devils. Let's hey, go, are y'all winning it all, for real? Are y'all winning it all? We're yes. winning it all. Absolutely. What, you got any words for Tar Heels fans? Go to hell, Carolina. Go to hell, Carolina. Hey. Dude's just map quest Marcus Bingham. My guy's Pete Nance with Peach Fuzz. Carter, how you doing? I'm tired. Carter, how's the aging business going? Not well. Good morning. Last we left you. Carter and I were at a crossroads of sorts, had to choose one of two pads to hit Bourbon Street or to go home and go to bed. I chose the bed, Carter chose the streets. It's now 12.15 p.m., the day of the first Final Four games. And our guy is in bed. Well, actually, one of two things is gonna have to happen. He's gonna have to rally or I'm gonna have to go Colin Gillespie without Justin Moore. Same way Villanova's gonna do it tonight. So, we'll see, got some options, but you know, sleepers are better when they're at full strength. We're definitely not at full strength. It's rainy as shit today, by the way. I'm gonna take that as a, 
potential sign that shots are going to be wet in the Superdome. Significantly more fans on the streets today. Cheers! Cheers! So being the incredible team player that I am, just got the credential, I got some coffee. So I'm gonna try to single-handedly will Carter Elliott back to life. Fun fact about me, I'm a big wimp about everything. Hate escalators. Like, imagine if you got your leg caught in one of these bitches. Down for the count. Once again, New Orleans let me down. They had jazz for six minutes. No more jazz. Okay, not only did I get him Starbucks, and got the boy a nice little quarter zip. We're gonna get his spirits up. All right, so I'm walking down the streets. We got JP and Chaz here, hey, big Duke fans, I assume. Duke, These dudes were just taunting the UNC bus. Hey, no, hey, they know the what time it is. It's the, it's, it's the last ride, man. Hey, hey, it's game day, man. We gotta get locked in. <laughs> hey, I'm hearing some rumors. If North Carolina were to beat y'all tonight, I'm hearing rumors they're not gonna let Coach K coach another game. Is that true? I, Technically I mean, so, but <laughs> also, I've heard rumors that, hey, we about to. Banner up. Hey, Banner okay. up. Like We're it. ready, man. Like We're ready. Up, we man. locked in, like man. It. It's the moment everyone's been waiting for. It is 1.18 p.m. Eastern. Carter Elliott is up. First things first, never ever disrespect. You know how we disrespected Bourbon Street on the first couple of days? Like, no, we're like, eh, it is what it is. No. It deserves its respect. I don't know how to put it in the words, honestly, G. Like, we just... So 29-year-old Carter is talking to, you know, preteen Carter. And I'm telling him what I just did. Basically, long story short, I literally was on Bourbon Street last night at the bar, boy, being boys basically with Mike Miller. NBA star, NBA champion, former coach of Memphis, Mike Miller, me and him were just, just two absolute knockdown shooters at the bar on Bourbon Street. I just want chaos. I want, I, I need I need a memorable moment to happen while we're at this game. What would be chaos? What's the best case chaos scenario? The best case chaos? <sighs> Caleb Love trips out of bounds to save a ball and tears Coach K's ACL. Okay, so I have these mints basically that are like all toys basically, and they're in a tin container. And I was walking around with them in my pocket and they just kept like clanking, like making noise while I was walking. So I took all of the mints and took them out of the container, put them in my pocket, just loose. So when I was at the bar and this is after Mike Miller bought me rounds, I decided I wanted to buy us a drink on behalf of sleepers. You know, be professional, we're a professional company. And then I go to reach <laughs> into my pocket to get my wallet and every single mint in my pocket, at least 20 plus mints hits the ground. And everyone's looking at me because they, they look like pills. And I'm just like, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not I'm not rude from euphoria, like, basically. Like, it's, they're just mints. And eventually, like, we had a long laugh about it. And I, I bought a round for me and Mike Miller. So, essentially, Mike Miller was disappointed you aren't a crackhead. Yes. Yeah, for, for better or worse. Like, uh, two, three, seven, nine, Wait, C. Wait, hold on. Before we look at the numbers. Okay, come on, come on. I do need to do headshot. <laughs> Corresponding areas on the back here. If you'll note here, two and three. Court and court side. Sleepers court side? <sighs> Langford's just chaplain Max Christie. Here we go, Nova, here we go. Oh, heels. Hey, I got a question. What are we doing to Coach K tonight, folks? What are we doing to him? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. The heels are out. The heels are out here. Can you flip the camera a little bit? The heels are out. What's a guy got to do to get a seltzer in this city? It shouldn't be that hard. I'm off like 72 rum and cokes, two and a half waters, no food, and 35 seconds of jazz. One thing I will say for the quote unquote best rivalry in sports, I've seen a lot of Duke fans and a lot of Carolina fans walk by each other with 
words. No words. Zero words. No words exchanged. Hey, game will say it all. We don't need to say anything. Game will say it all. Wow. Our team will hold it together. Look, we already got a Let's Go Targets right here, It man. feels like there's more heels here than devils. Is that oh, fair? most definitely. Fair, the heels, for sure. Everybody heels, says yes. The heels, come says yes. the heels come out. The heels come out. The heels come out. Quick word association game for the four fan bases. I'm going to say the fan base. You're going to say a word that comes to mind when you think of those fans. Okay. Duke. Pussy. <laughs> North Carolina. Energetic. Kansas. Old. Villanova. Who? have 100% flipped though. On the way here, I was at Blue Devil. I had the jersey. Uh, I said this was Duke's weekend no less than two hours ago. The vibes from the fans alone tell me that Coach K is getting packed up tonight. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. There, there's no, I, I feel like Duke fans think he's getting packed up tonight. Like, I feel like they're just showing up to say, say their goodbyes. There's terror here. They're dressed like it's a funeral. NC Moneyline is a play. Hey, the, the heels are here. Hey, we're packing up Coach K tonight, right? We're yeah. packing them up, right? Yeah! You two feeling well today? <laughs> Car, that looks like you last night at 3.30. Whoa. So, extremely rookie move by Sleepers Media. Everybody we're with is in a suit. I packed three suits, not in a suit. Hey, I'm not in a suit, but I'm fitting. Get the feet. Get the feet. Rookie move. Hi. Sean Paul, Sean Paul CBB. Like he's a... Uh, Gonna go do a United Nations competition <laughs> for high school. What is that? United Nations. The cat on it. Quiz bowl. Quiz bowl. Reno Ross team right not, here. I'm not smart. I'm not doing any quiz bowl. Come hey, on. you're fitted though. Let the people know. What's Let up? the people know. Rock Chalk, baby! Rock Chalk, baby! Gentlemen, I have an honest question. I'm putting you on the spot. Where are all the Villanova fans? Oh, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. Are coming. they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Do you coming. see what's across the way from you? Oh, I know, but we're coming. Okay. Well, are you three ready? You three look ready. Cats. I got to say this. You have the three different jersey colorways. That's incredibly important. Yes. Justin Moore is not here tonight. How much does that matter? Jay Wright, the most handsome coach in college basketball? Absolutely. Nobody, nobody, nobody comes out in a suit today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that would be big, I'm not gonna lie. With all due respect, I am not sure that Villanova fans know their team is in the final four. It is game day today. As you can see, the streets are filled with fans. Uh, Who are you guys cheering for today? Duke. 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 What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Who for? I'm just a fan of the game. I love. Yeah, I, I, I want. I want everyone to have fun. Sure, and everyone sure. be healthy. That's all, that's all I care about. I'm a Michigan. I'm a Michigan State fan, so it's okay. But as you can see, the streets are live. They're selling seltzers on the streets. That's a great vibe. Stadium right here. We're walking yeah, in. Streets are electric. The Blue Devils are out. Go Duke, go Duke. Go Duke, baby. We have Eli and Brian heat check extraordinaires. Uh, look, the biggest thing I'm concerned with right now is the fact that there's like 300 Kansas fans right there and there's four Villanova fans right there. What do we do with that? Well, they seem, they seem to like you quite a bit. So, uh, I mean, I'd like to see Villanova get a little bit more support. You know, maybe it's just some more fashion. I don't know. We'll see. Jay Wright's handsomeness can only do so much, right? They're just, they're enjoying themselves still. You know, we've still got an hour and a half till game time. They know, they know the deal. They got some seats. They've been here before recently. They're they're vets at this. Incredibly true. If Villanova fans are at the bar, yeah, right. They got an hour and a half. They they know they know the deal. They know what's going on. It is the warm up. It is the warm up. All right, this is 94 feet with Jay Billis, with Greg Waddell and Kevin Sweeney. Uh, Sweeney, yes. We're at the final four. We are at the final four. The court is pristine. It's awesome. Until until your dirty shoes walk. There's a lot of purple, yellow, green going on. None of the teams in the Final Four have that color scheme. It's New Orleans. But New Orleans lies. It's all gumbo, no jazz. I don't know what to tell you. There's conflicting reports with what happened last night with you and my counterpart, Carter Elliott. Do you care to comment? No comment. 
refer also to all, all questions to my agent. Villanova, Kansas, who wins? Uh, Villanova. Duke, North Carolina, who wins? Duke. Duke, Villanova, who wins? Duke. It's written. In stone? Written. 94 feet, Kevin Sweeney, Greg Waddell, Jay Billis. We are currently inside of San Francisco. We are inside the dome currently. Court over that way. Contrary to my earlier thoughts, the fan base show up is split right now. I think all the fans are showing out today. There's Nova fans, there's UNC fans, there's Duke fans, there's Michigan State fans. Critical reporting coming to you live from Sleepers Media. How sticky is the stickiness? A noticeable traction. So the people are dying to know. Can we get official commentary on how you did your pocket square? Right, so it's pretty simple really. What you do is you put it down in the square, right? You fold it up, and then you do a boom and a boom. And it becomes this little like a little flower thing. It's on the internet. I like Google. Saturday night, the final four. It's one in the morning. Finally about to get out of here. Been like an 11 hour day. Bringing pizza out to the guys as they end the After Dark show. Can't really believe this is life now. It's insane how different things are from six months ago for me. Crazy. I uh, haven't seen Carter in like 11 hours. So hope he's doing well. Hopefully he's on Bourbon Street, a couple drinks in him. Uh, yeah, this was an insane day. Great game. Can't wait for Monday. USC pulls it off against Duke. I just got a pass from Greg. He Venmo me money and he said he needs a UNC jersey for the rest of the weekend. So I'm gonna find someone who will sell the UNC jersey off their back and I will Venmo them. Now we just gotta find someone who's willing to sell their UNC jersey to some guy who's walking around the final four. Stay tuned. Day five back on the road to live shows. Live shows today from 12 p.m. Central and then 6 p.m. Central. Uh, Carter and I have spent a collective 15 minutes together in the last 36 hours. 
I think he was on bourbon again last night. I'm a little jealous. I got like one rum and coke in me all day yesterday. That was the only alcohol I got. So hoping today could be a little more fun from a beverage perspective for you, boy. Also major mistake, I'm wearing Allbirds, which are very comfortable, but these are about half a size too small for me. I can already feel the blister forming. Sleepers boys reunited. Been together 12 minutes in the last 38 hours. Uh, you got mistaken for Brandon Johns last night? Yeah. And I don't think I've ever been more insulted in my life, to be honest with you. How casino oh, treats you? Awful. We didn't talk about this. I know casinos are places, but we gotta have some integrity. Why are we raising it to $50 just because there's a bunch of big wigs like myself in town? That's just not good vibes, not good energy. What time you get home last night? Four. And because coaches don't know when to stop gambling, man. <laughs>